Hello, how are you? I'm good. Your background matches my shirt. <laughs> I planned it. That's like I knew. I know. Yeah, they, they texted you ahead of time. Good. I'm glad. How are you doing today? I'm doing very good. I'm very excited. Uh, this film is a very exciting thing that I'm, I can't believe it's coming out now. Yeah, I'm very excited. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I want to thank you so much for speaking with me. Um, and well, my first question for you is, how did you get to be a part of this film? Well, I was, I mean, this is uh, nothing exciting. We had some some agent people talk to some other agent people and said, listen, we think you should uh, read for this. And so I was very excited to do this. And then I was in Amsterdam, shout out. I don't know why it's a shout out. I live in Germany. This isn't that romantic. It's like a five hour drive. Let's Let's calm down. But I was there and then I Zoomed with Pete and I got to be a rude man in a hotel room while my neighbors were confused as to why a strange simulated fight scene was happening uh, next door. But that's what happened. And apparently uh, no one was harmed except a pillow. It was fine. I got the job. Well, you're obviously a musician, a comedian. You have so many things that you do. Um, but from the I comedian try. side, for you, what was it like to work with iconic director Peter Segal this is I mean he's huge Tommy Boy huge film so for you what was it like uh I, the, the this the imposter syndrome is real um if you've heard of this it's a very much how I feel all the time I should I definitely don't feel like I belong anywhere uh, including anywhere close to a film set being directed by Pete Siegel. Love him. He was so great. Uh, I'm always just great, uh, grateful when I don't get fired from anything that I'm doing. Like you could fire me from this interview immediately and it would not surprise me. I'd be like, yeah, of course I did very terrible. Megan doesn't want to speak to me. I get it. So anytime this doesn't happen is a nice fun surprise. And I didn't get fired as it, as it turns out. And it was wonderful. I really love him. He's a very fun director, loose, relaxed, a very positive vibe on the set. Uh, that's all you want. You it's, we're having fun. This is not, uh, we're not, this is not what kind of pick a bad surgery, a buttocks surgery. It's not that it's, we're making a movie. It's fun. Well, you can tell you're having fun when you watch your performance. Um, I think with a lot of your performances, you end up playing the villain, but you bring a comedic side to him. Um, and with this one, you probably had me laughing more than any other character, just from either oh. the dead, the yeah, deadpan expressions you were given or just the way you were toning things. So for you, when you get a script like this and you're told, OK, you're going to be playing the villain, is the comedy already written into it and you kind of just expand on it? Or do you take care and you're like, oh, I can make this funny? Well, this one, most of the time they are written comedic. And even this one, I tried... I don't know if it, I hope it came through. I mean, I wanted to be an actual a-hole in this one and be really bad, but it's still a comedy. And I think when you are so bad, it doesn't take much to become funny because you're releasing some pressure from the badness. And then that feels funnier because you're not, because my guy, he's not a bozo the clown, you know, mm -hmm. he's very, yeah, so I think that really does help sell the very little amount of humor that happens. It makes it feel bigger, I think. I'm just now realizing this, watching it back. It wasn't honestly my intention. That's just how it came through, which I'm happy to hear. It did. It, as I said, it made Great. me laugh. <laughs> Good. Oh, excellent. <laughs> and not only comedy, but you also had a ton of action scenes in this movie. Yes. So how did you prepare for those? Uh, well... I will say, look, there are stunt people there to help you prepare. You do, I do many of those stunts myself, but in the end, you have the stunt people there to support you. And in many cases, they also do the things for you because if I break my shin, what an idiotic thing for me. There are literally people there to do this for you. Uh, but it was fun. Uh, I did a lot of the driving stunts myself. So oh, wow. if you, I won't spoil the automobile that was used, but I did almost all of the things you see on the screen. That was me. You can tell. Just zoom in. Zoom in yeah. and see that happy face driving that car. How do you prepare for something like that? Do you have to go through some form of training? Uh, listen, I think everyone in the world thinks they are a very good driver. And I yeah. am no different. I, I think I'm an excellent driver. And also, look, I can drive a uh, stick shift. This is helpful. I've driven uh, school buses before, trucks. I've driven a lot of things, so I think that was helpful 
uh, for the stunt team. Uh, shout out uh, Jim Churchman to uh, say, hey, oh, you, if you feel comfortable doing this, let's let's do it. And I think I can, because I can do it, they're like, oh yeah, he can do it, that's fine. So they just asked you, they're like, you feel comfortable doing this? And you're like, yes, I feel comfortable doing this. Well, yes, but uh, they do like, they do a little, it's, uh, you know, like anything else, they're like, see, let's see if that's true. That's a uh, well, trust, but verify, as they say in, the, in whatever secret secret organization. So yes, we, we believe you. Let's try this one parallel parking action scene, see what happens. Oh my God, that's insane. It was great. Uh, I mean, it comes, I, I if I'm thinking correctly of the automobile, it comes off amazing like it's like you right. you're naturally behind it but just for you to say yeah they asked you think you can do this yeah let's test it well but look as i said they knew right they couldn't tell you can tell yeah. somebody's like do you speak french and you say yes and then they're like blackity blookity blah that's not french what you're doing it's not <laughs> it's not even a language so i think it was like that i think they could see after one scene that i know there are things i don't i don't know how to play the flute megan <laughs> but i can i can drive an automobile well, yeah. what would you say was the most challenging scene for you to bring to life? Uh, I would say the fight scenes, probably, because you really want to do it. You have Dave as a professional, uh, not just as an actor, but also within the world of fighting. So you really, I really wanted to make that look believable because he's big, he's a pro, he looks like a guy that can kick the duties out of you so i needed to make sure that i f it felt that way if you saw my character too so that was diff not diff it was challenging but fun what was it like working with the cast i mean for you uh you were one of the newcomers to this one so what was that like uh very fun um as you know it's stacked with legends of comedy and performance in this film and so to get to work with them was very exciting and uh i was not intimidated i'm kidding it was intimidating and then i got over it megan we all eat the same snacks on yes. the craft service table you know you're all human yeah. yes i'm pretty sure yeah sure he's still out on some of us but <laughs> yeah, yeah we're waiting to see I have, I have some suspicions not gonna name names but yes do you have any memories from set that stand out that when you look back on this film five years from now, you this is what you remember? Well, I mean, getting to talk to a lot of the actors uh, between scenes was very fun. But in terms of things you can see in the film, uh, the, I mean, I know we spoke about it, but there's some driving scenes that was so fun for me to do. Um, and then I should say, look, as soon as the film stopped, I went and took a stunt driving course and took, so I'm I'm like very deep in the in this i love it's so fun so uh i, I very much in, enjoy that so the stunts the stunt driving i think was my uh most favorite memory that i will cherish forever i'm extremely jealous because i want to take stunt driving i'm one of take those it. people that like i'm a really good driver i think this is yeah. great and i'm like i would love to do this take it do it highly recommend you will enjoy it it's very very fun it's worth it all right all right i'm taking you up on that I will go do and it. do it. Perfect. <laughs> well, for my, See you there. <laughs> thank you. Well, for my final question for you is what are you hoping fans get from this new movie? Well, look, I hope they are able to, as we, as many of us say, I hope you can unplug from your life, ignore everything that's outside and just have a nice, wonderful, entertaining time. I think you can bring family to this thing. I think this is multi-generational. I think a lot of people would enjoy it. It's got action. It's got the comedies. It's got some heart. And it's got a very rude German man who at the beginning of the movie does shirtless pull-ups. I spoiled it. I spoiled That's it. it. That's it. The cl cl most climatic part. You, you did it. That's it. That's it. Sorry. Sorry. So that's well, it. thank you. Thank you so much for speaking with me. I am super excited for everyone to see the movie. Thank you very much, Megan. Have a great day.